Hey everyone, welcome back to Vaz Food Review. So I am actually here in the kitchen because I got a lot of hot sauces for Christmas. So we're going to give some a try. And there are a lot of them and I didn't want to keep standing up and sitting down. So I'm just going to do this one on one. And um, I'll show you guys. So this, most of these came in a big, like a holiday pack. So I, I separated them by flavor. So the first one of the first, the first group, which are the... I guess you would call them barbecue hot sauces, is heat meat smoke, smoking chipotle hot sauce. It says fiery inferno, so I am going to get a smell. It smells just like barbecue sauce. And it's really, really runny, like it's water. Um, that doesn't seem right. Let me actually give this, these a shake now that I see that that might actually be something that we need to do to mix them up. Yeah, it smells just like a barbecue sauce. Um, okay, now it's a little thicker. Mostly a flavor of vinegar. I'm going to give these a uh, heat on a scale of 0 to 10. That one's about a 2. 10's about a scorpion maruga pepper. A 0 is no heat whatsoever. Um, this is scalded chaos. Barbecue hot raging heat. You can kind of see the quality of the overall labels and stuff. This one smells a little bit spicier, with a, a definite hint of tomato, and it's also thicker. Um, you can kind of—I don't, I don't know if I'll be able to show off the thickness. It's, it's pretty thick. The first one was a heat about, like I said, a one or two. This is about a one or two. Oh, where is it? Salt, vinegar, spices. Weird. No actual um, tomato, but it definitely tastes more tomatoey. Um, the next one is the original hot sauce. This is their, I assume, their main brand, um, and it looks just like a garlic Tabasco sauce, and it smells like a garlic Tabasco sauce. It isn't garlic Tabasco sauce. So I'm going to use the same spoon. Two more spoons because we have a two, we have three more of these regular, I guess, peppers. Ooh, that's actually, this is the thickest one by far. Definitely the thickest one by far. Oh, it's a Louisiana style hot sauce. Vinegary, cayenne pepper, a little bit of garlic. It's not bad at all. Um, I'm going to do the Scorpion Stinger, their actual premium garlic hot sauce. Um, I don't want to let that fall too much. Uh, this one's a little bit thinner. Ooh, strong. Strong garlic. That was about a two as well. This is this is a zero. There's no spice to this. It's a nice pepper flavor. It's nice and vinegary. The overriding flavor on all of these is pretty much vinegar. Um, this is the Ignite the Insanity Cayenne Pepper Hot Sauce. Extra hot. So I'm hoping that this is indeed hotter than the other ones that we've tried. Um, it's definitely thicker. Let's do a dab. It's definitely spicier, but it's the same as the original hot sauce. There's a nice lingering heat. I give that about a three. Um, these are definitely just for people who don't eat a lot of hot sauce. This is the extra hot, hazard hot. So I'm hoping this is still even hotter. Um, that last one is actually building up a nice heat in my mouth. I'd still say it's about a three. It's not that hot. This one's pretty thick as well. Um, it's a cayenne pepper, so I'm not... Whoa. Okay, that's a nice big spoonful I got there. They all smell the same. They're just super vinegary hot sauces. Frank's Red Hot. A little hotter than Frank's Red Hot, though. But uh, that's actually a two. So the extreme one has been the hottest. So this is our two, we have two habanero flavors. 
This is the Cajun Blazing Inferno Habanero Hot Sauce. Um, so, got a different spoon for this just in case the, uh, the flavors. Ooh, that's a lot. Don't get any smell. It's definitely hotter. I'd give this about a four. That does have a nice kick to it. They're still not very hot. Still the overriding flavor is, isn't the pepper, it's the vinegar and salt. This is the Heat Is On Mango Habanero, which I really like that pairing. Uh, I moved back a little bit because I spilled things all over the floor. This is about a five. Um, artificial mango flavor or taste smell, but uh, nice fruity taste. Um, there's no mango in this. <laughs> Natural flavors. Uh huh. Yeah. Um, dried carrot. Less than two percent of dried carrot. Can definitely get a little bit of a carotene flavor and a little bit of a carotene smell even, but not bad. Um, I think that's my favorite one out of all of them. They're all. They're all standard. Uh, so this is the extra hot jalapeno. This is our, one of two of our green sauces. Um, so I, we'll use a different spoon on this one as well. It smells like green Tabasco sauce. Looks whoop, like green Tabasco sauce. Ooh. Zero on the heat scale. But a nice flavor. This is our Sinned Green Chili Fiery Hot Sauce. Um, that one actually has a nice heat now. It's hard to tell because all the other heats from the habaneros, I should have done those first because I figured they would be less spicy. But it actually had a nice kick to it by the end. Um, so yeah, we'll just do this one and I have a piece to live. Wow, this one's super, super watery and it's supposed to be that way. I'm gonna give this a better shake because I don't think it's supposed to be nearly this watery. Um, so I can see sediment down below. One thing that really does stand out about all these sauces is they're kind of, um, I don't wanna insult a gift, but they're not the highest quality sauces. Um, not to say that they're bad, just, um, no, this one's just really watery. Even greenier tasting. Just tastes like someone blended up some jalapenos with some vinegar. And uh, it's really not that hot. Zero as well. They're both. That one actually, well, I bumped up to a one. So, zero to five. Um, so, this is actually the last thing I'm going to do. This is Melt Yo Face Paste. Um, Vault Monkey and Lady Longshink got this at the Swap and Meat. Um, as you can see, I've already used it, and we'll be using it in a sad onion. Um, but, neither here nor there, I see that we've gone past 10 minutes, so we'll wrap this up. Um, this is the, this is made with ghost chili for the most part, uh, habaneros, roasted garlic, water, olive oil, salt, ghost peppers, that's all that's in here. Uh, so I'm just going to get a little bit, I don't want to give myself a stomach ache. Um, so, as you can see, it is a paste, it's not a sauce, it's thick. It actually tastes very heavily of peanut, which is weird because there's no peanut in it. But, it's really good, despite that I just got a big seed. And it's really spicy. I'd give this about a six or a seven, especially when used in cooking. Uh, I like it. It's got a strong garlic flavor. Again, that peanut flavor, I don't really know where that comes from, but it's really good. I would recommend if you can find this, which don't think you can. It's made locally, like, in the in the Phoenix area. But if, hey, if you're in the Phoenix area and you want to try this, melt your face paste, uh, they have risinghy.com is their website. So you might be able to, be able to order it. Um, actually, it's made in Flagstaff, Arizona. I guess that's where they live. Um, so, yeah, if you are in the Flagstaff area, or in the Phoenix area, the swap and meat. Try yourself some. As always, ladies and gentlemen, thanks for watching.